carbon dioxide an important component of atmosphere it is a greenhouse gas which works to trap heat close to earth it helps earth to hold energy it receives from the sun so it doesn't all escape back into space if it weren't for carbon dioxide earth's ocean would be frozen solid but levels of atmospheric carbon dioxide have increased since the industrial revolution the primary causes are deforestation and the burning of fossil fuels as carbon dioxide level have risen so have its effects on air pollution it has also resulted in melting of glacier ice and ultimately climate change but here is a good news our scientists have found a method to mimic nature's own process of reducing carbon dioxide in the atmosphere namely photosynthesis to capture excess carbon dioxide in the atmosphere this artificial photosynthesis harnesses solar energy and converts the captured carbon dioxide to carbon monoxide which can be used as a fuel for internal combustion engines a team of scientists from jawaharlal nehru center for advanced scientific research an autonomous institute of the department of science and technology government of india designed and fabricated an integrated catalytic system based on a metal organic framework comprising of a photosensitizer molecules which absorb light and transfer the electron from the incident light into another nearby molecule that can harness solar power and a catalytic center that can eventually reduce co2 one of the author of this project professor tapas k maji gave us more information about it actually that uh, my group uh, has been working uh, on uh, uh, a class of crystalline porous materials which is known as uh, metal organic framework and uh, which is uh, Uh, particularly uh, built by the metal ion and some kind of organic linker and which uh, have the tunable porosity so we we are uh, working on last uh, at least uh, 12 years 10 to 12 years about the carbon dioxide capture so we are thinking that this carbon dioxide after capturing this carbon dioxide whether we can convert it to some kind of the value added product particularly that let's say some kind of fuel uh, then then we can uh, 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 two way we can solve the problem actually that whatever after capturing it so that will reduce the uh, carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere and if we can convert it to some kind of the value added product so then it will be a good utilization of the carbon dioxide so that is the main idea you know for the uh, mankind uh, nature provide oxygen and foods for aerobic life via photosynthesis all of you know right by utilizing the solar energy mainly that that our green plants the harvest harvest the solar energy and then it produce that your oxygen and the uh, uh, stored uh, uh, the your our energy as carbohydrate so there are two steps uh, in natural photosynthesis particularly that first step it's uh, uh, absorb the sunlight uh, by you know that uh, we have the pigment in the uh, like uh, called chlorophyll no, which absorb no. the sunlight and then after that absorbent after that sunlight absorption that it uh, produce the electron hole pairs and then corresponding it's uh, by that process it oxidizes the water in photosystem 2 and to get the oxygen and in the in this process uh, there is a release of protons and the electrons which transport via cytochrome to photosystem 1 and we call that ps1 and are finally consumed co2 uh, by reduction to produce the carbohydrate for the creation of the artificial photosynthesis so now we have the if we consider like our catalytic assembly and let's say from the atmosphere that carbon dioxide is coming and carbon dioxide is getting absorbed to my pore surface and then we have the light absorbing unit and the catalytic assembly 
so now when light is coming and we have the light uh, the photosensitizer which we can the light absorbing units so this after following the light it can get that create electron and hole so this that is the h plus and this electron so this h plus the hole and this electron can transfer to that your catalytic centers and this can when your carbon dioxide is coming to binds to the catalytic center and this can give you produce the carbon monoxide or some other product okay so for when you have the water so this hole it will be used for the oxidation of water to pro produce oxygen uh if we, if we can use that like whatever i uh, told you like that x the constant uh, the co2 uh, capture it and if we can convert it to some kind of uh, energy sort of energy let's say either uh, carbon monoxide or let's say the methanol or uh, some other uh, hydrocarbon like uh, natural gas ch4 formaldehyde formic acids so all these are c1 feedstock even the c2 feedstock we can uh, produce it and eventually it can be used as energy so that will significantly help particularly uh, uh, that to reduce the co2 concentration and also it will help to get uh, the, uh, the energy which is also that the fossil fuel based energy can be uh, we can overcome in the future scientists believe this intricate design and synthetic approach will pave the way to develop new integrated catalytic systems for capturing co2 this is india's major lead towards achieving the paris climate agreement goals which will help in improving the current situation we'll be back with more information thanks for watching